Okay, so this is our sauna tour. I'll start with a walk around the outside. Uh, obviously, it's a timber frame sauna. The sign on the front that you see is actually inspired by the 2020 Canadian $2 coin. I am Canadian and the sauna was built in 2020, so it seemed like a reasonable idea. It's a piece of art by Bill Reed, who's a Canadian um, native artist known for sort of his high deck carvings. As we move around the side, you see I got rocking chairs on the front porch. Uh, you can see I've got uh, the the vent that you'll see inside the sauna is exposed out here, as well as the stone hearth that you'll see uh, behind the wood stove. Uh, I've got some. The sauna is wired, so I have some electricity that's mostly for landscape lighting and interior lighting. If we walk around the outside. Back's not particularly interesting. You notice another vent up high in the sauna area, as well as you see the electrical feed to the sauna and the electrical outlet that is used for the exterior landscape lighting. Um, just for a point of reference in the yard, there's our house. There is a timber frame barn that exists on the property. We have kind of a nice yard that's all very pretty and snowy today. This window is into the change room in the sauna. Here's the sled I use to haul wood in the snow. Wood just gets stacked on the front porch of the sauna. Uh, all the exterior siding is poplar. I actually cut the trees down from a friend's farm in Pennsylvania. All of the interior wood that you'll see is eastern white cedar from my dad's family farm in southern Ontario. We also cut those tree trees down. Uh, the door is white cedar made from scratch. Handmade wooden latch mechanism. Coming inside the change room, if I turn around and look at the door I came in. Actually, let's turn on the interior lights. See the change room. Uh, pegs on the wall are all made from, uh, actually leftover pegs from the timber frame itself. And you notice my window. I uh, keep a water cooler in the change room to rehydrate between sweats. Uh, mirror cabinet is really largely there to hide the electrical panel. I also use it to display, actually we, uh, my son-in-law gave me some gift sets that of those 2020 Canadian $2 coins that are featured on the sign out front. Those are hidden in there. The interior door to the sauna, which I'll close temporarily, is also Eastern White Cedar. Um, just simple tiny group paneling like the cedar wall panels and the sauna itself. Sauna, again, obviously timber frame. Uh, the frame itself is, is pine. It was made at a last summer, actually, 2000, or sorry, summer of 2019, in a timber framing workshop at the North House Folk School in Grand Marais, Minnesota. My daughter and I took the course, uh, made the frame in 2019, and then we raised the frame kind of as a family project in 2020. And so you're looking at the sauna interior walls. The sauna stove is a NIPA, which I'm in Michigan, so I like that this is a made in Michigan stove. Uh, used it last night. We have the stainless steel water tank that sits on the side. You'll notice my vents. So here's primarily the air intake vent um, for the wood stove and then if I need to control temperature I have an event uh, up high that I can use to exhaust. As I said all of the paneling is eastern white cedar that my dad and I cut the trees down on his farm in southern Ontario and then those got milled into lumber and turned into siding benches. I have, if we dim the overhead lights you'll see the LED lighting or obviously I have LED lighting over the beams and under the benches. I wish I had the benches a little wider, um, but you know, I only had so much space, you gotta have a certain amount of clearance between the wood stove and the wood, and I'm already cheating that a little bit. So the upper benches are 20 inches, the lower bench is 30 inches, so you got 10 inches to put your feet on. Uh, if you're lithe enough, you can crawl underneath the under bench. That's sort of it. Um, other features in the change room, I guess would be a simple cedar chest I made out of the same eastern white cedar used to hold towels, fire starters, 
Uh, it is lined with red cedar. That's the tour.